next thing that God is doing in preparing you is to make you not to be intimidated by your youthfulness. Verse 33. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war. Don't be worried about your youthfulness. What are the problems of young people? One of them is irresponsibility. When you are young, because you haven't built anything, you haven't bought anything, you are irresponsible. But you see, you can have the mind of a 60-year-old person in a 25-year-old body. There is an era in which God uses young people. God is beginning to do a new thing with young people. In some years to come, many of the people who are seen as very young will be the leaders of this church. And many of the people who are seen to be older in the church, we've been around, we've been whatever, will be led by the young ones if they are still around. That is why I encourage you to get married. Marry as a young. Don't wait till you are so many, many years old. If you do that, all your desire will get finished. Bible Bible says, you see, there's something we call heart failure, kidney failure, liver failure, intestinal failure, and other failure. But we also have desire failure. Zelu failure. Where it is in the Bible, it says, Where desire shall fail. There's no interest. So that the old people, they see the young people holding themselves. They be like, cry, if you are man. Without desire, you can never have these youthful activities. Desire is also something, without it, you will never desire it. Or oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. You, you get it. Desire is a special thing that is given. And it is in young people. But you see, that desire and that drive can be redirected into the work of God and the ministry of Jesus Christ. You see, a dog, when you castrate it, it becomes phlegmatic and it just eats a lot. And not only does it not chase the women, but it does not fight as it should fight. If I take away your hormones, that gives you a sexual interest and desire. I would also be taking away that thing which can drive you to build a church. You are surprised, you see. You are surprised that there could be anointing in the testicles. <laughs> you are surprised that the anointing and the work of God can be connected to the balls. You don't like my message, you see. It's also a message. <laughs> It's a good message I'm preaching this evening. That desire you have for girls and for women and for marriage and all those things is frightening. Sometimes you are scared. How many are scared sometimes by it? Uh huh. It's frightening, but that is also what gives you a drive for God. It's amazing. They are connected. Is it not amazing? So sometimes what we are even thinking is a bad thing is actually connected to a good thing. Oh yeah. And that's what gives us the interest for a man to even approach a woman and say, I like you and what you have, your equipment. (laughs) You see what God has used us to accomplish. When I was 25 years old, I was a pastor. When I was 25 years old, I was a pastor. And I've been a pastor since then. Look at the things Solomon built. 1,000 women. Can you imagine the number of outdoorings? But it was also connected to his ability to build. So you need to control. That's why you should marry young. And start having sex young. Don't wait. Some of the parts of your body, they've been ready for use since about 14, 15 years old. They are ready for use. (laughs) You don't like my message. (laughs) I'm preaching a good message (laughs) they are working they are good equipment everything you see sometimes when you wait till you are so old the thing dies it cannot be used for anything only to wee wee and then that's all it cannot work again (laughs) so the fact that you are young is not a curse it's a blessing it's a blessing from God. And rather than waiting till we are how many years old, we should decide that I am going to marry. 
as a young person and you see that our parents many of them you ask them when you were born so god has designed you you are ready you are ready for use what are, what are you waiting for and when you marry you must use your equipment regularly you see like an aeroplane the more it flies <laughs> the safer it is it, the aeroplanes they don't they never stay on the ground they are always flying the more it flies the better it is for the plane they land two hours they are off they don't sleep at all use the equipment